There was a point in yesterday's AFC Championship game between the Cincinnati Bengals and Kansas City Chiefs where you were thinking, okay, the Chiefs have this in the bag or pretty close to it. They were up 21-3. to Still early to go in the game, obviously. Still early to go. But after that third touchdown, I think there was a general, there was a feeling change. There was a feeling change in that stadium, and I can't quite put my finger on it, but and I, I can't quite explain it other than the fact that Joe Burrow is just special because immediately after that last touchdown by the Chiefs that uh, McCall Hardman scored, the Bengals responded with a nine-play, 70-yard touchdown drive that was the result of a 41-yard touchdown pass from Joe Burrow to Samaji Perrine. Uh, hopefully that's how you say his name. Probably not even close. But it was after that point you're like, this ain't over. In fact, I think that was exactly what the Bengals needed. And it was. It turned out to be. And if you're the Chiefs, to only go out and for the rest of the game, you only kick a field goal. I mean, I I realize it. Don't get me wrong. Patrick Mahomes is one of the most special. Is one of the most special quarterbacks in the NFL. But Joe Burrow, with the way that he played and carried that team. I mean, we and it's not like we didn't know he was he wasn't special early on. I mean, whether it was the memes uh, when he won the national championship at LSU, the cigar sitting on the bench, or you know, and obviously I love the the new meme that they they created of that yesterday during the AFC Championship game. But Joe Burrow is special, and we're only seeing the tip of the iceberg here, and that's really the the God's honest truth. Because his second year in the NFL, he brings his team to the Super Bowl. He's going to play a good team. And the Los Angeles Rams against another good quarterback and Matt Stafford. And, you know, obviously we'll make a, 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 a video about this game coming up. And I think it's uh, I think it's the game that everybody wanted to see. But right now, I think it became very apparent that this Bengals team with Joe Burrow at the helm, they're just, they're going to be a special team. Like they are, if they don't, if, 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 and by the way, there's no more counting out the Bengals. That's done. Finito. Finished. There's no more counting out the Bengals. If they can find a way to win the Super Bowl, immediately, immediately Joe Burrow's in that same conversation as Patrick Mahomes. There's no debate. Absolutely no debate. Because Joe Burrow has similar-ish weapons. I would say maybe he has another one or two more weapons that Patrick Mahomes doesn't have. You have Tyler Boyd, T. Higgins, Jamar, uh, Jamar Chase. I think he's got a better running game. Offensive line clearly isn't there. Uh, I would also give the Chiefs the slight edge on, in terms of defense. But despite all that, Joe Burrow led that team, led the Cincinnati Bengals to the Super Bowl. As far as I'm concerned, he's already one of the, he, he's already a, a top five quarterback right now. Uh, maybe even top three. If he wins a Super Bowl, he could be in that conversation, no, no doubt. Because he has, don't get me wrong, a lot of offensive talents, but, and, and also, you know, the, Bengals have done a lot of great things on defense to be able to get them to this point. But this cannot be overshadowed, and it cannot be overstated that Joe Burrow is special. And and moving forward, now obviously the Bengals are going to go in the end of the Super Bowl. Whatever that happens there, fine. Okay. But moving forward, the Bengals need to put so much draft capital in the offensive line, it's not even funny. You have your weapons. Okay. Tyler Boyd, like we mentioned, uh, Jamar Chase, uh, T. Higgins, uh, uh, Joe Mixon, all those boys. Uh, and C.J. Uzama, hopefully he's ready to go for the Super Bowl. Um, you hate to see a guy be carted off like that. But it needs to be abundantly clear that Joe Burrow leading that team with his weapons and everything, his leaky offensive line, average at best. I wouldn't even call it average. What did they allow? Nine sacks uh, a couple weeks ago? What was it against the Titans or something like that? Like, this team needs to invest so much capital into that offensive line. And if they do, if they get two starting caliber guards, oh boy, oh boy, it's going to be tough taking down the Bengals moving forward. It is just, that, that's why you get, you go out and get a Joe Burrow first overall. You get his, his favorite wide receiver in college in the, what, the fifth overall pick. That's why you put get all those weapons around him and get a, a, a you know soup up that defense, and that's why I think Joe Burrow is special because 
The current run that he has put this Bengals team on is amazing. Nothing short of amazing. And he deserves so much credit. And he's already a top five quarterback. There's no debate. And I think moving forward, the Bengals have some work to do on the offensive line. But Joe Burrow already brought this team to a Super Bowl. It's already a special season in Cincinnati. And I'm, I'm really excited for the Super Bowl. I know we've got a couple weeks, but this is already shaping up to be a very special game. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. Uh, you guys are all truthfully, truthfully awesome, and we love every single one of you. Uh, in, in our description down below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. Give us a like and a follow there. Uh, you will also find our iTunes uh, link. Make sure you guys give, give us a listen and sub. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or... Put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about Joe Burrow being a special player.